Getting 174 miles per hour on the Dow. There we go. Deploying. Two probes dropped. I'm gonna get like one more scan, 185. I might try and just get another scan after this because I'm getting ground shaking. I need to get out probably. All right, we gotta drive. And race and head to this one road and head down south. I'm like driving towards it. But yeah, I see you. There's no south. way. You probably just want to turn around. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are back in Twisted, joined by Ben and Jay Killen, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Of course, we're going to be chasing tornadoes. However, here's the catch. Jay Killen is going to be directing us where to go. We won't be able to look at the radar, only Jay Killen will, and we're going to see if we can get some intercepts with Jay Killen's direction. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so we already have a hook forming north of Hibbing. Um, there's already a on the radar uh, so it is heading southeast so best bet uh, for now would probably just to keep going down south maybe turn at Wenaska and get a better view um, but the rotation is north of Hibbing like I said now going on with that we've actually got a high risk for today and tomorrow and it looks like we've got an EAS warning going off but here are the values there is a tornado warning issued for that rotation though it's right over to the north, uh, the northeast side of Hibbing. I do see that wall cloud. It does look pretty intense. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty big. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using TIV-1, I'm actually sort of recreating that documentary from 2006 called Tornado Intercept. It's a really great documentary. I highly recommend you go check it out. A link will be in the top right corner and also in the description below. But yeah, check it out and wow. That is actually... Yeah, we got a tornado on the ground. Oh, wow, it's a wedge, wedge already. I'm not sure the TIV-1 will survive that, but we'll see. I'd say we need to just keep heading south, maybe turn at Starbuck, uh, because it's already about to cross Beltrami 63. Um, nothing's in the path at the moment, unless if it shifts and heads towards Starbuck, but oh, we right have now a it's new not storm. heading towards much. There's a new storm forming. Where? Oh, a new yeah. storm forming, like, right on this one. And this meso is massive. Debris. We have debris. Jay Killen, are you sure we can't deploy somewhere up in here? Um, well, the area that it's heading towards is a lake. So you can't really deploy there, obviously. So I'd say the best bet is just the road that goes west of Starbuck. Okay. Oh, I'm getting ground shaking. Might actually be able to get a deployment on uh, this bridge, because I think it is heading southeast, even though the warning boxes... Uh, are saying uh -oh, it's heading, I'm, like, a south direction. I'm about to enter the wind field. This is not good. All right, Jay Killen, where do you want me to deploy? I'm going over the bridge. I'd say, okay, right at that intersection where that dirt road is. That, like, where the dirt road is. Yep, um, I'm turning right now. Right there. there we go. Yeah, All right, right deploying. Oh, gosh. This might be very bad. As you know, TIV-1 cannot survive super high wind speeds. Oh, I'm so, oh, gosh, this is bad. This is not a success. Well done. Well, at least you dropped a uh, pro. That's good. Yes, I did. Too bad you're dead now. All oh, right, 144. Wind speeds are at 144 and dropping. Trying to back up to Starbuck. Uh, power flashes are slowly approaching. We got some damage in Starbuck. It grazed the, the northeast side of the town. All right, I'm underblowing. Six mile per hour winds. 149, I think it's still strengthening. All right, I'm gonna back up and work my way over to where that damage is. So there it goes, it's going off into the distance and that was pretty cool. It's actually doing some ground scouring. So we can see that just up ahead. Very nice wedge and a very nice tornado for the start of the video. Just too bad the uh, scout truck died and there he is. Hey, Kellen, is that a new storm growing up north? Uh, yeah. All right, I guess that's our new target. All right, well, in the meantime, I'm going to run over this uh, injured person. Wow, Ben. Hey, uh, Jay Killen, do you want to um, get in front of the line, and then uh, we'll go in a convoy? Uh, here in a second. I was going to rate the damage here just to see what kind of um, EF damage it would be. Okay. We should be in the direct path of this. As you can see, the hook is starting to form, and if it's heading the same direction as the storm before, it should be coming right at us. 
All right, so Ben, we're just gonna try to get over there first, and then we'll wait for Jay Killen, and then we will prepare for the intercept. By the way, the wall cloud on this other storm is growing a little bit as well. Watch out, Ben. Some trees there. And he crashed. Wow, that wall cloud is getting really large, and it looks like there is a tornado on the ground. All right, so for the highest amount of damage in Starbuck is EF2. Oh, wow. Let me check the radar. Uh, yeah, there's a good chance it'll hit Hibbing. So something bad has just happened. You're a terrible driver. That's what happened. Okay, I was and looking uh, at guys... the storm. Well, I guess that's a good sign to upgrade to TIV 2. So here we go. Probably for the better anyways, because, well, the TIV 2 is just stronger and... Well, more equipped for tornadoes like these, these wedge ones that we're seeing. Now, um, I'm not sure, Jake Hillen, where are we going to go on this? If it keeps the same direction, it might barely miss Hibbing. But obviously, I can't tell, like, the size. I'm just looking at the, oh, so it to the TBS. Because that um, kind of determines where we go. It's about to cross the dirt road that is north of Hibbing. Like, that horizontal there dirt road. There are a lot road. of dirt roads north of Hibbing. I'm saying the first one that's uh, north of Hibbing. Oh. Like, there's only one horizontal dirt road north of Hibbing. All right, um, I will continue this way. And, yeah, it does seem like it's going to miss Hibbing. It might strike one or two homes on the outskirts. It might actually be shrinking. I'm not sure. Looks like it's actually it's changing green TBS, in size. it says. Oh, yeah, it's dying. Well, that was short-lived. I got a pretty sick shot here of the uh, Dow, the Tiv, and the probe truck. And, actually... This might recycle. Yeah, I'd say we should stick on it. I mean, that one storm is still growing. Um, so we can stick on this one for the meantime, because it does look like it might recycle. It's uh, The wall cloud's growing, it looks like. All right, do you want us to go in and just uh, get ready for an intercept? Uh, sure, it is heading. Let me see which way it's heading. Uh, it looks like if you go to that intersection, the next one, like where you could turn left and go north up to Hibbing, basically right at the intersection, it looks like it's heading that uh -oh. way. Yeah, we're I'm getting checking. some inflow. It's touching down right now. It is touching down right now. Uh, I'm getting 75 mile per hour winds according to the Dow. Ben, I think uh, you should I don't hang see back. Anything on the ground. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is not good. I'm just gonna have Upstairs. to drop down at some point. All right, I'm at the intersection deploying now. Here we go. Is there actually like a tornado on the ground? I'm not sure. I'm looking around in the turret. I'm just out of the wind field now, or the uh, what I would imagine is the center of the tornado. And there is no damage here. No trees have gone down. No leaves being removed from trees. I'm pretty confident Weird, I did. I don't see a funnel or anything. Yeah, me neither. It's just the wall cloud. Now we got debris cloud. Um, it's just now touching down. Oh, there it is. Oh, got yeah, it. It is. That is a huge debris cloud. All right, what's our plans on this? Um, I I don't know. I probably am not going to be able to put any probes down. Uh, it's heading like a south direction with a little bit of east in it. So it's not completely south, but it basically is. Okay. I was going to say, if you want like a good intercept, though I doubt you'd have time to, is basically just go on to the road in between Mizpah and Starbuck. But it's already almost there. There's probably like no way to actually get an intercept on this thing because we're behind it. Are you guys able to see the tornado? I'm not seeing it. Uh, nope, it is heavy rain. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get a view on this tornado. Do we have another one on the northern storm? Uh, I can't really see it. I can briefly oh, that see this the storm. wall cloud oh. through the flashes of the lightning, but I can't see it long enough if I could see a funnel. That second storm might actually be heading towards Hibbing right now. Um, there's a warning box that is basically heading towards that direction. All right, I'm gonna try to drive up there and see this tornado. Oh, it is massive. Oh, I can confirm there is a tornado on the ground on that new storm. Uh, it does look like a wedge. Oh my gosh, all right. There we go yeah. again. All right, so for this tornado, we're going to switch out. Ben's going to be in the intercept vehicle, and I'm going to be in the probe truck. And you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to make it to Hibbing before this actually strikes it. Do you want us to turn left up here and see if we can get an intercept somewhere down the line? Uh... Possibly, yeah. Hold on. Let me actually see which way it's going. It is actually heading like a southeast direction. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is actually destroying Hibbing right now, but it's heading southeast. So if you can actually get up here, you might be able to get a brief intercept of it. All right. I see the damage. It is damaging Hibbing. There it goes. It's still heading like a southeast direction. So basically oh that gosh. first intersection, like that road where you could first turn left at, that you're just about to cross, that yep. say somewhere right there is good. 
So, um, yeah, let's uh, go in for the intercept here. We're going to drop some probes and hope for the best. As you can see, damage is occurring and hibbing. We've got structures being destroyed. This is not looking good. All right, here we go. This is going to be risky, but I'm going to pull this turn here and see if I can drop some probes. I'm getting 174 miles per hour on the Dow. Oh, my gosh. I should not be doing this. 181. There we go. Deploying. Two probes dropped. I'm going to get, like, one more scan. 185. I might try and just get another scan after this because I'm getting ground shaking. I need to get out probably. Yeah, Ben just uh, deployed. Two, so it might be decreasing, but yeah, I'm going to undeploy and try and like get out because it looks like this thing is like heading almost right for me. All right, we got to drive. And race and head to this one road and head down south. I'm like driving towards it. But yeah, I see you. There's no south. way. You probably just want to turn around. I'm good. Uh, 46 miles per hour and dropping. I just barely made that, I think. Tornado is dying. It's heading northeast now. The tornado just said, I'm just going to level part of Hibbing and then go for Hazleton. We actually barely got EF5 damage in Hibbing. Um, the really? Walmart is just, because it's gone, um, that indicates apparently 201 miles per hour. So just barely EF5. Now I would say this day was pretty successful. We had three main intercepts. One where we were in TIV 1 and Ben unfortunately got sucked up. The second one with TIV 2, and that was sort of as the tornado was touching down. And then, of course, the third one, where uh, Ben was able to deploy inside the tornado, and I was able to drop probes. So yeah, it was relatively successful, minus the death of Ben. So yeah, I think that's going to be a video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.